Global strategies are a purely niche product, but this niche is so deep and vast that entire historical epochs, planets, and even galaxies fit into it. This genre is all about empire building, gigantic scale, and harsh micromanagement. Empire World War III A futuristic war game that offers its own vision of World War III. The Red Planet becomes the battlefield, and the cause of the conflict is a special resource found on it, which has especially valuable properties. Users build bases, study new technologies, and mine valuable minerals. The problem is that the neighbors are also busy developing the Millennium, which means that meetings at the borders will inevitably lead to a conflict of interests. Call of War Global MMORTS about the events of World War II Gameplay in Call of War is divided into long campaigns in which players command the forces of one of the countries involved in the conflict in real time. In some scenarios, up to hundreds of users can participate at a time. During the campaigns, you will have to develop industry, study new technologies, establish production, enter into alliances, and fight in order to score the most victory points as a result. Hearts of Iron 3 Compared to Space Grand Strategy games, this game fits in a relatively short period of time, from 1936 to 1948. But during this time, you will be able to completely redraw the map of Europe, and maybe the world, and it is not at all necessary to play for the main figures in the Second World War. The project is distinguished by amazing attention to detail and, in fact, is a visual historical guide to the events of this period. The military operations in Hearts of Iron 3 are so massive that you need to resort to the help of AI, although in the most critical areas you will have to take matters into your own hands. Another reason to download the game is an extremely detailed technology tree, which, if desired, can be used to track the entire path of development of technology and theories of military operations. Grand Tactician – The Civil War Military grand strategy about the American Civil War that broke out between 1861 and 1865 between the Union of the States of the North and the Confederation of the States of the South. Players control the armies of their chosen side on a large-scale map and engage in tactical combat on historic battlefields. The project offers players a difficult journey along the road of war from Fort Sumter to the Battle of Appomattox. You will have to monitor the condition of the troops, manage supplies, expand supply lines, lay railroad tracks, and participate in battles lasting several days. Darkest Hour A Hearts of Iron game is an offshoot of Hearts of Iron that has become a standalone game thanks to the efforts of modders. The game takes place in the darkest milestones of the 20th century, from the Great War to the Cold War. Gamers are waiting for various campaigns, a redesigned map, and new game mechanics. One of these was Advanced AI, which simultaneously reacts to hundreds of different situations. Gary Grigsby's War in the East Behind a modest picture lies a rather large-scale global strategy covering the War of 1941 to 1945. Five historical campaigns allow you to survive all the events on the Eastern Front. The game can be safely called underestimated, because in a few reviews, users say that this is one of the most realistic strategies for World War II. The authors deserve such flattering assessments thanks to the well-developed systems of divisions and brigades, the ability to play for several countries at the same time, the well-thought-out stages of the war, and many other advantages that are better to learn about in person. Master of Orion 2 A magnificent example, actually standing at the origins of the genre. It has everything a sofa strategist needs, a race designer, shipbuilding, a variety of technologies and a strong, even by today's standards, artificial intelligence. To some, the game will seem archaic and not surprising because it was released in 1996. Someone will not be satisfied with a small map. Someone will smile condescendingly at the sight of primitive wall-to-wall -wall ground battles, but all these are trifles that are not worth attention. Master of Orion 2 is an iconic 4X strategy game with near-infinite replay value. 
a must-play for all fans of the genre. Endless Space 2 A global strategy can be beautiful. This is proved by the developers from the French studio Amplitude. Based on the classic 4X rules, these guys have created a game with great visual style and music. Space looks amazing here, and even creating outposts on planets allows you to enjoy their ethereal landscapes. The game was released in 2017, so it is very demanding on hardware, especially in the later stages, when the galaxy is almost completely explored. The only fly in the ointment in a barrel of honey is the inability to directly influence the course of battles. Perhaps this feature will be added in the third part. Exterium Large-scale space strategy for browsers with a well-thought-out economic component and serious military potential. Players improve their own empires, participate in large-scale PvE and PvP activities at will, do research, extract resources, and conduct trade business. The game provides Alliance Warriors, dozens of unique ships and defense systems, and endless potential for development. In addition, Exterium often hosts events with valuable cash prizes. Star Ruler 2 A galactic epic with a giant map, animated starship fleet battles, and meticulous micromanagement. The volume of all kinds of tabs, tables, and parameters looks simply intimidating, so only experienced commanders are recommended to meddle in this strategy, and this despite the fact that it is impossible to control specific planets in the game. This rule does not apply to resource extraction. The mechanics of Star Ruler 2 constantly pushes the player to expand the boundaries of the Empire, so it's just not possible to take and sit on the defensive here. Space battles take place mainly in automatic mode, but if you wish, you can personally take part in them as a Commander-in-Chief. Despite some secondary character, the rating of Star Ruler 2 is quite high, not least thanks to the original card diplomacy system. Stellaris. This time, Paradox Interactive has taken and dragged the branded elements of global simulations into space, adding to the list of innovations a random technology research and a successful idea with administrative sectors that are controlled by autonomous AI. Otherwise, Stellaris is a fine example of 4X strategy, with a huge map, colossal fleet battles, and a flexible diplomacy system. If you don't know what it's like to become a vassal of a stronger empire, live under its yoke for several hundred years, picking up scraps from its table, and then gobble up your master, then this game will explain everything to you in a popular way. Galactic Civilizations 3 This game returned to PC 10 years after the release of the previous part, in 2015, but it did not lose its branded features. Complicated as jigsaw puzzles, planetary building, race ideology system with perks, Ship design with a flexible system of defense and attack modules, time-tested automatic battles. Stardock simply took and improved everything that could be improved. The result is an excellent 4X strategy that can compete on equal terms with modern projects. Recommended for those who like to tinker in the ship editor and fans of grandiose space battles. Age of Wonders, Planetfall. Released in the summer of 2019, the continuation of the 4X fantasy strategy series, Age of Wonders, radically changed the setting to a space one, but remained true to the traditions of the franchise. The series has retained all of its signature features, such as the tactical battle mode, global and tactical spells. Here they are called operations, but still allow you to hit enemies with something fiery directly from the global map or in the middle of a fierce battle and dividing the world map into provinces, each of which can have only one colony. Of the innovations, it is worth noting a developed technology tree, an improved diplomacy system, and the ability to modify units. Space Empires 5. It's not even a game, it's more of a simulation of a galactic civilization with hundreds of aspects in physics, culture, economics, and cosmology. There is about the same amount of entertainment here as in an astronomy textbook, but this is precisely what Space Empires 5 is attractive for. Already at the stage of generating the universe, your eyes will be filled with a number of settings, and if you are somehow brought into the user manual, then there you will find 300 pages of small text. 
This turn-based strategy game features a huge tech tree, a powerful ship editor, and solid diplomatic mechanics that don't involve pure alliances or implacable foes. Anno 2205 City Planning and Economic Simulator, which became cramped on Earth. The game takes place on the moon, but before you get there, you will have to set up factories and mines on the surface of the planet. Having accumulated resources, you can establish a colony on a satellite, with all the consequences that follow in the vacuum of outer space, meteor showers, energy shortages, and attacks by anarchists who want to end the dictates of transnational corporations. Despite the fact that Anno 2205 is a game primarily about the economy and construction, it also found a place for combat and in real time. Distant Worlds Universe Perhaps one of the largest space indie old-school strategy games with a huge scope for research and a complex economic system. Despite its impressive scope, Distant Worlds is friendly to players of all levels and is able to take on the lion's share of complex management functions until the user himself figure out what's what. As in most similar games, you have to master the wisdom of colonization, engage in intergalactic trade, explore deep space, defend frontiers and participate in military campaigns. The game universe can range up to almost one and a half thousand systems containing tens of thousands of planets. Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion a global real-time space strategy that tells about the confrontation between factions divided by ideological considerations. The emphasis is shifted in favor of military affairs, but no one canceled the colonization and diplomatic approach. One of the noteworthy aspects of Rebellion has become a decent graphics. The game has an impressive atmosphere, beautifully drawn ships, and truly epic battles on a scale worthy of the best fantastic epics. If your favorite game is not included in this list, write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Join this channel to get access to perks. Subscribe, watch our other videos, press thumbs up, turn on notifications, and you will always be aware of what to play today.